This mythical region terrifies the uninitiated. The bold smell of local whiskey is not for the faint of heart. Some say it's worse than your local pub's ashtrays, hospital disinfection, or burned hair. Yes, we're talking Isla. is part of the Inner Hebrides and is home to many iconic distilleries. Most of them utilize local peat to smoke dry their barley. That's what gives the whiskey its specific sooty bouquet. Isla is my favorite region and it had been the spark that started my interest in single malt whiskey. So my journey was different from other people. Most start on easy difficulty but I went straight to hardcore. The bottle that made me an Isla fanatic was the Lagavulin 12 cask strength, a fantastic dram, but nowadays I'm more into Ardbeck. I have gone through the core range and explored some of the limited bottlings at the local Ardbeck embassy in Prague. For this video I wanted to do something special. Ardbeck and Lagavulin will go toe to toe. We'll compare the workhorses of their core range, the Ardbeck 10 versus the Lagavulin 16. One packs a stronger ABV and is non-chill filtered, the other gets more time in the cask. Which one will be better? Let's start with Ardbeck 10. Okay, we'll take the lid off. Mm. So I've actually let both whiskeys, you know, sit in the glass for a while with the lids on and it really helps to develop the beautiful nose as well as the taste. A few moments later. Let's start with the nose. We can smell grilled meat, floral soap. It smells a, it smells a little bit like lavender. It's found in most art bags. And of course, it's there's this earthy smokiness. Let's try the taste. Mm. The taste is bold, smoky, with an underlying sweetness that balances the smoke. It's just amazing. The finish is very long, bold and peppery. It just covers your entire palate with this amazing, smoky goodness. Let's take a look at the second contender, Lagavulin 16. On the nose we have smoked fish and the smoke smells a bit more briny than our bag and, and it's slightly more approachable as well. Let's see how it tastes. So first up we have this salty smokiness but there's this sweet undertone as well. Definitely more salty than our bag. The finish is long, pleasant and hazy. It's not as robust as the Ardback 10, but it just urges me to take one more sip. It's amazing. Ardback wins when it comes to presentation. It's bottled at 46% ABV, it's non-chill filtered, and there's no artificial colors. Compared to that, Lagavulin 16 comes at 43% ABV and we know it's probably chill filtered and colored. However, the longer maturation has its perks. So who came on top? Surprisingly, to me, Diageo's classic malt has a slight edge. 16 years in cask means it's more rounded and pleasant to drink than Ardbeck's classic offering. Don't get me wrong, Ardbeck 10 is a fantastic tram but I prefer other expressions from this renowned distillery. A small word of advice. If there's a whiskey you're interested in, find a retailer that sells small sample bottles. This way you'll avoid spending money on bottles you don't like and you'll be able to explore a wider variety of spirits. 
So this is the end of my Scotch Whiskey Region series. I know we just barely scratched the surface. It was fun and I might do more whiskey videos in the future. Meanwhile, stay safe and sláinte